Coming up next, we get to this UFC middleweight division fight. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with a beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the USC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Big! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. Well, there have been a lot of similar UFC moments inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good one. Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how it feels to walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop you. You gotta defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which He's throwing these ground strikes. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, combination lands 
hands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back in range. Leg kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Blocks the shot. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Just misses with that one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Watch knees to the body. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chad? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got... Oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Good defense to block the strike coming down. Wow. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Flips the punch nicely there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Big leg kick lands. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that right hand is on point. 
Nice body kick. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final seconds here of round two. What a round. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should laud the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick, too. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the Stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Right hook to the head block. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Straight punch land. Try to establish that jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. How good is that right hand? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Ooh, what a punch. So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Back and forth we go here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great punch landed with so much power. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he was landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight.
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. He missed with that jab attempt there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice strike. Nice, nice. Over the top. This fight's going to be over these. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a body kick. Under two minutes now to go. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Left hand punch in the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Final seconds. Oh lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that landed perfect, and that one landed perfectly. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Uh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Just misses with the straight, straight oh, oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Big kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Right. Just wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. 
All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. down the stretch tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner of well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.